Hey friends and neighbors, this is Chuck out at Sheraton Park Farms. Welcome back to the farm. So today, we're going to finish putting together our racking house. Um, if you saw the other video, we've done a little remod on what we call the feed barn and got our bunnies placed. Today, we're going to get everything set up for the chickens to go in and get them moved in. So hang out with us. Let's see if we can get everything put together uh, and get those chickens in under those rabbits like we want them. A couple things. Real quick, uh, had a lot of folks that left some really, really good productive comments on that last video with the rabbits pay attention here if you see something that you think we can improve on please leave us a comment down below and let us know what you're thinking um, you know many minds are smarter than just one and so we really appreciate folks that are contributing and and giving us some suggestions it makes a huge huge difference for us uh, and if you don't have a suggestion at the very least give us a thumbs up so let's get to work on getting these chickens in Okay, real quick review for those of you that may not have seen the other video on this. Um, this is our racking barn. This is where we're going to be combining our rabbits and our egg-laying chickens. So we've got our rabbit cages kind of suspended from the uh, from the rafters up there, or the floor joists up there. Two males, four females, water system here that comes down, lines that go to all the rabbits. Still need to replace their feeders. We got some new feeders in. We got to put those in. But uh, <clears throat> chickens will be down here on the floor. We've got a good deep bedding of wood chips and hay for the chickens to scratch around in. Starting to get some uh, rabbit poo over here. And we want the chickens to come in and kind of scratch some of that around too. So we're ready to bring the chickens in. We got them. I went down and closed them up early this morning about 530. So we're going to go down and pull the trailer up here. And figure out how we can get those chickens out of the trailer, which we're going to park right over here, into the barn here without without losing a bunch of them. This should be comical. Uh, we'll have to mount our um, feeders and our nest boxes, but we'll get all that in a few minutes. So let's get the chickens up here and uh, get them moved in.
We got any more screws? Okay, we got feeders installed. We put in three nest boxes because they were really only using three in the uh, egg mobile anyway. So we decided to just put three up instead of trying to put a fourth one over here somewhere. And I think that's gonna work out just fine. So we got feeders, we got nest boxes, and we got the most important thing now. We got the chickens. JW and I were just talking. I don't know how well it's gonna come through on the screen, but we imagined that this would be a lot fuller, um, more densely populated, if you will, with chickens. Um, so it, it's not bad. I mean, they've, they've got plenty of room in here to scratch around. They spent a whole lot of time in this corner over here when they first came in. They're spending time under the uh, rabbit hutches. So this is kind of following along what we had sort of expected and what Joel shows on some of his videos and other folks have shown on some of their stuff. <clears throat> believe this is gonna work out really, really nice. Probably gonna have to bring some more wood chips in, particularly right here in the front. It's a little thin up there. And JW and I were just talking, we're wondering if we're not gonna to need to put some kind of visual barrier right there where that netting is, because we've had a few chickens that have gotten out. There was one or two that, that went underneath. We've kind of fixed that. And then we had a little bit of a gap over here next to the door facing. So I think we've solved those problems, but we still got a couple of rogue chickens. We'll get them in here, no big deal. And the rabbits are, you know, they seem okay with it. Just doing their little rabbit thing. And for those of you that had commented on the previous video, talking about zip ties and some of that kind of thing, we're going to go back and put a little bit of uh, galvanized or a little bit of high tensile wire <clears throat> where we have these uh, zip ties just for added security. Someone had said something about chickens roosting on top. Yeah, maybe. There's just not a whole lot of, there's only about six inches there. There's just not a whole lot of room for a chicken to get up there. Not saying that they can't, but I don't think that they will. But yeah, these guys, they are, they are digging in. Look at that. Wow. Doing their thing. All right, I think we're kind of set. We've got to get the water situated. We're going to bring a refilling bowl in here with a float valve, run a hose over to it. So they've always got plenty of water. But uh, the raking house, I think we can put a check mark next to this one. All right, I had a couple folks ask about the new dog. And this is, uh, this is a uh, Australian cattle dog, a blue healer. He's blue, Maggie, y'all have seen Maggie. Maggie's red. This is Reuben. Reuben is named after a character in a John Wayne movie. Um, which John Wayne movie is it, and which character is it? Leave that comment down below. So, that's it. We got chickens, rabbits, and the new raking house. Um, gonna be real interesting to see how this works out. No smell, JW and I were talking, gonna be a lot of dust. I think there's gonna be a lot of dust. Again, not quite as densely populated as we thought it was gonna be. So. We'll keep you updated on how all this works out. But anyway, a loud bunch. Like we always say, please keep us in your prayers. May God bless you and your families. And we'll see you on the next video. Thanks.